We are back with the Georgia Beef Board. Ray Hicks on the end. Brooke <laughs> Williams here. We're going to do some cooking. Lots of food. Start with the with the cut of meat. Okay. Today we're using a New York strip, and this is what you want to look for when you're buying meat. Um, the little flecks of white in the middle. That's what you want to look for. That's going to keep that meat really juicy. It melts into it, and it just keeps it juicy. Now this external fat right here, I trim that off yeah. usually, okay. and that keeps it lean. This is one of the 29 lean cuts. And this is a what? This is a New York this is a strip. 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 Okay. And when, yes. when you read a recipe and it says a piece, a, a marbled piece of meat, that's, that's what yeah, they're talking about. Those, those yeah. white flecks in there. That's okay. what you want to look for. All right, now what'd so you do? what we've done? I've sprinkled a little bit of salt and pepper, grill seasoning. And that's what we have right there. Yeah. On our George Foreman grill. <laughs> yes, I love my George Foreman grill. My husband does the outdoor cooking, but if he's not around, I do the indoor cooking with my with my George Foreman. This is not an infomercial. <laughs> Sorry. Ray, what's your favorite cut of beef? T-bone steak. T-bone steak? Yep. Oh, and then know. also hamburger. Hamburger is so versatile. Yeah. You can yeah. do everything with it. It's actually the number one grilled item of the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Don't think about T-bones much anymore, but you're right. Yeah. That, now, a, a common mistake a lot of people makes when they're grilling a steak or anything, and they go directly from the grill to the plate, yep. now, you need to wait about four or five minutes, let those juices reabsorb into that piece of meat, Absolutely. it will be delicious. That's Otherwise, you cut tip. it when it's hot and all the juices, all the juices run out. Right yeah, out. Okay, now, did you, you cook this in pieces or you cooked it in, in? I actually cooked it whole. whole. And another tip is always use tongs to flip. Don't use those forks that come in the big the grills. Juices right. The juices. Out. If you right. start poking your steak, all the juices. And a tip for hamburgers, you know, I see people all don't the time don't, don't squishing them down <laughs> with a spatula. Again, that's going to lose the juices. And what you want to do is get this to a good medium rare. Okay. That's the best yeah. way to eat a steak. And that's the way it is right that's there. That's the nice. way it is just right here. This, just a little pink in the middle. And that's 145 degree doneness. Okay. And we've got a magic of television. We've got a final product over okay. here. And this is um, just a wrap. So you get flour tortillas. I've made a little chimichurri, which is parsley, red wine vinegar, and some olive oil. And that's, what, that's, that's what what's right over there. Yeah. And then we've got some spinach leaves, bell peppers, and then of course the, the best of the best, the steak. The steak. You there just you wrap go. it and all up. And you just chop that all up very finely and, and made a little paste kind of out of it? Absolutely. And this is what that chimichurri is right here. Okay. Um, and I put it in the food processor and just let it let it rip, and okay. it gets kind of like a paste. And you brushed that on there before it went on the grill? Well, I didn't well, put it on the steak. I put it you on put it inside. Here. Okay, because so I see some is on the on the sliced steak over there. Yeah, this. we okay. put a little bit on there. You know, we tried to wrap them up, and then. <laughs> but <laughs> the steak, I just seasoned the steak with salt and pepper and a little bit of grill seasoning. Right. That's all. That's all. Okay, and there you go. That's what's so great get. about uh, about a good steak is people think you got to do all this fancy stuff to it. Oh, put a little no. salt and pepper, maybe a little olive oil, put it on a hot Just grill, a little bit. and let it go. Yeah. And, and don't continually it. turn yeah. a piece of meat right. back and forth. Turn it one time and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like when we slice it up. Oh, see, that's what you yeah. want right there. Yeah. That pink in well, the middle perfect. right there, yeah. that's perfect, that perfect. medium-rare. <laughs> So we're going to slice all this up and you guys will have lunch. We're standing here and no one has eaten anything yet. <laughs> I can see this well, we've that got, Oh, there right he goes. There <laughs> goes. So we've got a little steak right there right, that you can sample. Is, I am going to. Mr. Mm. Ray, do you want a little steak mm. sample? No, I would not care for one right now. Here's your napkin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Thank God. Right? That oh, that's so fantastic. Good. What do you think? Jody? It's great. This is just mm. fabulous. And this mm. is just a little salt and pepper on here. A little salt and pepper and that's it. But you didn't overcook it. And that's the key right there. You keep it juicy by yep. not overcooking it. Don't ever do well done. Please, please, no. please, never do well done it steak. It makes it tough. It's like yeah. shoe leather. Yeah. It well, changes the flavor completely. Yeah. It does. It really, really does. Gosh, that is good. It is. <laughs> and, and you know, a, a lot of restaurants will ask you if you want steak sauce or something to go with your piece of meat. Hopefully, you won't need steak right. sauce. If, if, it's it, if it's done correctly. right, you will not need it. You always um, bring us the flat iron. Steak, I love yes, that. Yes, it's so good. Yeah. It's the second in tenderness only to the tenderloin. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's another great one that mm -hmm. you can use to make these kind of wraps. Absolutely. But you know, with Father Day's coming oh. up also, that is an ideal time to have a, a grilling that is. event oh, yeah. there at the house. Weather's going to be beautiful this weekend. Do some grilling outside. Make the grill. Use your beef. Go to WTOC.com. We will link you to their website. Celebrating Beef Month for the month of June. We'll be right back.